Hello friends today we are going to see one of the common topic of thermodynamics that is refrigeration how refrigeration works what is the mechanism working behind refrigeration is the area we are going to cover to in this tutorial we will start with our first slide what is refrigerator or fridge so it is one of the best friend of us in our kitchen as it helps us to preserve our food it helps us to keep all the vegetables fruits fresh and cool in all the seasons by reducing the bacteria growth but did we notice how refrigerator works exactly how it reduces the temperature what is the mechanism working inside the refrigerator so before going to the actual mechanism we will see few things about how gas behaves when it is compressed so when the gas is compressed to the liquid state temperature of gas also increases for example if we start compressing the gas which is at room temperature so after some period of time as pressure increases temperature of gas also gets increased in the same way when we allow the compressed gas to expand suddenly its temperature gets decreased now as we have understood the behavior of gas after compression and compressing and expanding we will move on the on to the fridge or our refrigerator and see what are the basic parts of refrigerator at this stage we will not go in much details we will just try to understand the basic function of each part so the first thing is coolant so the coolant is the medium which carries away the heat from your vegetables or food which is kept inside refrigerator second is compressor this is commonly called as the heart of refrigeration system so what it does is it compresses the coolant and raises its pressure third one is condenser so this is the most visible part of refrigerator you must have seen the tubing structure laid over the steel mesh at the back of refrigerator when coolant passes through the condenser its temperature gets reduced heat from coolant gets transferred to the surrounding air which flows over the condenser and next part is expansion valve it is the device which allows the high pressure coolant to expand and the last one is evaporator coil this part is fitted inside the refrigerator and through this coil low temperature coolant flows and absorbs the heat from food so these were the basic components of refrigerator and now we will move on to the actual refrigerator and see how these components all together works and create cooling effect so this is the basic si side view of your refrigerator where you can see the components fitted to produce the cooling effect coolant is passed from all these components in one sequence so the first component in the sequence is compressor so in compressor the coolant is compressed and as the pressure of coolant is raised the state of coolant gets changed to liquid and as we have seen in first few slides that with the rise in pressure temperature also gets increased so the coolant which is coming out of the refrigerator sorry compressor is high pressure and high temperature i repeat again the coolant which is coming out of the compressor is high pressure and high temperature now this part is condenser so the high pressure and high temperature coolant which is coming out of the ref compressor is passed through this part which is condenser so when it passes through the condenser heat of the coolant is transferred to the surrounding air which is flowing over the condenser after passing through the condenser the pressure of coolant remains same but only the temperature is reduced and it is the heat is given out to the surrounding air now the stage of coolant is at it is at high pressure but the temperature is close to room temperature so this coolant which is at high pressure but close to room temperature is passed through expansion valve the third component and up when it passes through expansion valve 
pressure of the coolant is suddenly dropped and as per the fourth slide we have seen when we allow high pressure gas to expand suddenly its temperature gets decreased but as the temperature of coolant was already been reduced in condenser coil which is close to room temperature this high pressure coolant expands in expansion wall and again the temperature goes below to the room temperature now this low temperature coolant flows through the evaporator coil which is present inside the refrigerator since the temperature of coolant flowing through evaporator coil is very low than the food present in, in in fridge heat starts flowing from the food items to coolant through evaporator coil now since coolant has absorbed the heat from foods its temperature again starts to increase and it starts to get converted into gaseous state and it flows to the compressor again in this way the complete refrigeration cycle works the coolant is circulated through continuous tubing so as to extract the heat from inside of the refrigerator and given out to the surrounding through condenser coil so friends this is how fridge in our kitchen works next time when you see your refrigerator don't forget this refrigeration process which is continuously going on i hope you have understood the topic but still if you have any query please feel free to comment your questions below and if you liked it please do subscribe my channel on youtube thank you and bye